with the Christmas holiday quickly approaching, I want to make a video update of my how to use the post office self-service kiosk because it looks like they've upgraded their machines. I hope this video will help you guys avoid waiting in the long lines. Guys, I made it to the post office. Alright guys, so the purpose of today's video is to show you guys how to use the new updated USPS self-service kiosk. As you can see, they've replaced the older machine. So today I'm going to show you guys how to mail a package, alright? It's real simple. So the first one I'm going to do is touch the screen right here. Just initiate it. On this screen, I'm gonna select a type of service. You can purchase stamps, mail letters, packaging, or other services. I'm gonna mail letter and make sure it, your items inside the packaging doesn't contain any of these flammable, fragile, perishable items. I confirm it does not include. Click right here. And I'm mailing a priority mail packaging. From the USPS is a flat flat rate box priority mail and mine is a medium flat rate box all right so I'm gonna enter the zip code where I'm mailing it to and mine is going to be nine six continue it's located in Anderson, California, yes. You have the option of choosing street address or PO box. It's a street address, and now you're gonna enter your street address. So let's just say, for example, um, street number. And the first thing that comes up, that seems right. And there you have it. It shows that the address, um, it already includes a $50 insurance. I'm gonna continue. Make sure you confirm the address on the bottom. It's processing. I don't need any of these uh, insurance, additional insurance or signature confirmation. I'm gonna pick none because insurance already included up to $50, I believe. Click on the buy postage. So the thing about the medium flat rate is, is any weight. You don't need to place it on the width scale. It's only if you have like a separate box that you need to be weighed that isn't part of the uh, USPS medium flat rate type of boxes. Now I'm going to insert my card for the payment. And wait until it turns green. When it's green. There you go, operation approved, pull your card out, and wait for the printout. It comes on the bottom right here, All right? There's the printout that I'm gonna put on the packaging right here. continue continue make sure you follow these steps because you don't want to leave your credit card information in the queue I'm done so no no and here's the receipt showing the purchase price, expected delivery day with a 
um, USPS tracking code and this receipt you don't need if you need to return something all right guys I have these shipping labels stuck onto the box that's the location that they usually put on and I'm gonna drop my packaging inside this drop box make sure it's drop inside there you have it it's as simple as that Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click on the like, comment, share, subscribe button. Until next time, take care of yourselves.